I'm live. Hey guys, good morning. I'm live, right? All right. Anyway, anyway, there's a delay on my screen. But uh, thank you very much for um, again taking time to watch us today. It's me again, Ryan. I'm the tech designer, chief tech designer at Tech Island, and the president and CEO of Find Up Grace Computer and Gadgets Distribution. We are the distributor of LiveSmart, and Tech Island is our implementation division, along with several of our partners. Uh, we have partners in Manila, uh, BrainTech, and several others. We'll mention that at the end. We'll mention all our partners. Uh, so you can know where to get LiveSmart from and who to get consultation from. So today, we're going to cover about security cameras or security system, right? So we're okay, right? We're live? All right, it's just a big delay on the TV, right? Anyway, so uh, I hope everyone's doing well during your ECQ or I've heard that others have already gone to GCQ. So, uh, yes. I, first, I'd like to thank also uh, the LiveSmart team who are here, Wilbur, our technical sales engineer, and also a tech designer at Tech Island, and Charm, our uh, marketing officer, right? So, uh, thank you guys for taking time to come off uh, to, to leave your house to come here and to help us out to do this live session, right? So again, this is a pocket live session uh, we have, which we want to have at least once a week to help you understand more about how life smart works. You see, a smart home or a smart building is such a general term. Uh, there's so many things that you can call smart nowadays. So what we want is to give you a guide on how to use Life Smart to give you a specific smart solution. Not just all of us would probably think that you know a smart home is just everything about voice command. But no, there's so many things behind a smart system uh, that will improve your daily lives. And that is our goal, right? To help you have a smart system that will give you a good management system, that will save you energy, that will save you time, and of course, in the end, save you money. Uh, whether we like it or not, we humans tend to sometimes forget. And when we forget, it will cost money. It will cost, uh, it will give us uh, security flaws in our building, in our house, right? Talking about security, that's one of the major concerns on the ECQ right now. People are very scared and they want to implement a good security system at home. Now, most of you probably have CCTVs, right? You have cameras all over your house, all over your buildings. You can view them on your cell phone. You can review them. But let me ask you this. Do you look at your CCTV, CCTV system 24-7? Do you? Maybe you can post on the comments if, uh, if, uh, you can really, if you think that you can look at your CCTV 24-7, right? Nobody can look at their CCTV 24-7. Sometimes you even hire a guard or a person to watch it, but even that person cannot look at your what, 8 cameras, 12 cameras, 16 cameras, or in the building, we're talking about 100-something cameras. So we end up having cameras that are of no use, or they just become review systems, meaning somebody has stolen something, or you're missing something inside your office or your shop, you realize that it's missing, and then you go to your CCTV system and review our soul footage, right? How many viewers do we have? We have 16. Oh, 16, nice. Hello, guys, again, 16 viewers. Thank you for watching, okay? So again, going uh, going back to that, you're, you lost something, so you're reviewing your CCTV footage to look for the culprit. But by the time you, you review all the hours of footage and you saw the culprit, 
that person is probably long gone. Right? So, bottom line, um, we would wouldn't you want a security system that tells you when something is going on? It tells you no matter what time of day it will report to you and tell you, hey sir, somebody moved your watch, somebody picked up your bike, somebody opened the door, somebody opened the window. And we're not just talking about somebody opened a door in your house, we're talking about somebody opened the main door, somebody opened the back door, somebody opened the pantry or the warehouse, right? Wouldn't that be something better? Well, if you think it is, then you're in luck because we can do that for you. This can be a very easy DIY system that you can do yourself at home, right? So let's get, let's get down to the details of how to make it work. But before I go, before I go there, uh, I'd like to let you know that we'll be giving away some prizes today again. Uh, we have a mug, a LifeSmart mug, we shall be giving away uh, three of these months during the drawing that we, which we did also last week. An umbrella, again, a LifeSmart umbrella, one LifeSmart umbrella, and we're going to give away as a major prize a LifeSmart home kit station, right? Okay, this is again, if you saw my video last week, you can take a look at it again if you missed it. This is the brain of the entire Life Smart system. This will be our grand prize for today. Through this station, you can add 500 of our devices already. You just connect this to your LAN network and to the power, and you'll be able to control all of the Life Smart devices on your mobile phone, schedule them, and do so many things with it. Again, this is like the, the server, this is the brain, this is like the home base. With this, you can already control 500 of the Life Smart devices and we'll be giving it away as the grand prize for today. So uh, stay tuned and keep watching our FB Live session today and you'll get a chance to win this uh, Life Smart brain, right? Okay, so in front of me are the different, it's like a basic security package. Here, this is the Life Smart station, which I just said is a requirement for you to work any Life Smart system. You most likely need just one for every house, or two or three if you have multiple floors or if you have a big house, right? And then we have the door sensor, which I showed you last week also. This door sensor, you can put as a uh, on any type of door or any type of window or any type of cabinet or any type of drawer. This is one of my favorite, uh, very easy to install device, and I'll show you the benefits later. This one is the motion sensor, which is also a light sensor. It can detect motion uh, through PIR technology, and it can also detect uh, the amount of light in a room, right? the brightness of the room. Okay. This is the LifeSmart camera, and this one is one of the cameras that we have. We have different cameras. We have an outdoor waterproof one, uh, but this one is our most sellable one that goes indoor. It allows you to control it uh, to uh, pan and tilt via phone. So you can pan and tilt it 270 degrees, right? Left and right, up and down, okay? So it's very, very uh, useful. And what separates it from the rest of the IP camera system, I'm going to tell you in a bit, right? And this is our smart plug. What, why do we need a plug for the alarm system? Uh, we have this very uh, generic sound alarm system which you can buy off somewhere uh, in Lazada or online shops or you can go to any uh, security shop and buy this and you can just simply integrate it with our uh, plug and this becomes your alarm. Right? So again, what you need to do is you add these sensors to the station and when you do add them to the station, they can now trigger whatever you want. Now in the Life Smart system, uh, there are different ways, there are different triggers that you can do. One is the trigger message, okay, take note, the trigger message. What does that mean? It means that whatever sensor is triggered, it can send a message to you. Okay, take note. This door is open, 
So main door is open, pantry door is open, uh, back door is open, back uh, dining window is open. All of that can be sent directly to the mobile phone. And I'll give you a demo in a while, right? So when you make an alarm system, you can have it trigger a message. That's number one. You can also trigger an alarm. So I, when this door opens, this plug turns on, and what happens is this alarm will trigger. Are you getting me so far? So that's a simple trigger system. This door sensor, when open, sends a message to you on your mobile phone or to several members of the family, and it can also trigger an alarm. Now take note. It's like some basic coding that you need. The nice thing about LifeSmart is you can do it all on the app, right? So you can then make all these triggers. When this window opens, trigger this. When that door opens, tr trigger this. When that pantry opens, trigger this. When that warehouse door opens, trigger this. And you can have an alarm system. So it will send a message and it will trigger the alarm. And you can then create an arm and disarm button on the phone to arm the alarm or to disarm the alarm system, right? So I hope you're getting me so far. Are you guys good? Any good? Any comments, any questions so far? None so far, right? So again, you can create a trigger for this to trigger the message. Now the third very nice thing before we give away the first umbrella or the first mug, I mean, is the triggering of the camera. Now I was telling you earlier that a regular CCTV system, you just need, the only thing you can do is review. And there are cameras, even this one has a built-in motion capture. But for me, motion capture is too, how you say, too general. Meaning, there are so many instances of insects or any type of movement, shadows, light change from cars passing by that can trigger a movement and that will give you a lot of false alarms. So instead of having a motion capture built in in the camera, which is still with this camera, you can create a very special reporting system. What happens is this door sensor, when open, will let this camera take a snapshot, one snapshot, two snapshots, three snapshots, ten snapshots, and send directly to the owner. You get what I mean? How cool is that? That means your space is now reporting to you directly and letting you know that, hey, somebody just went in your door and this is the guy who just did that. And if you are looking at your phone right away because you got an alert and you take a look at it, you then see that person, right? So what happens now is you catch the criminal while the crime is happening. How cool is that? Wouldn't you like something like that? If you do, give us a thumbs up right now. Wouldn't you like to know everything that's going on around your house without having a security guard do it? Your space will report to you and give you a visual confirmation and a picture of the person who just came in. And while that person is there, you already know, right? So, don't you think that's cool, guys? A regular CCTV system cannot do that, but the LifeSmart security system can. And it's very easy to install. We're gonna show you a demonstration after we draw up our first winner, right? So, yes, what's the comment? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Mark. Yes, thank you very much uh, for commenting on our products. Yes, we do believe they're very promising. And uh, the nice thing about LifeSmart is it's not a fly-by-night company. It's something that's already being sold globally and being used by very large companies and garnering very... Uh, uh, very important partners, should I say, in Japan, in the U.S., from Google to Apple to Samsung, 
very many big companies are partnering up with LifeSmart because they can have a solution that you can trust, right? Thank you, Aggie. Thank you very much. Uh, so again, let's drop our first winner. Uh, we're going to be giving away the first month a life smart mug. So the winner is Christina, Christina Liban. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in, Christina, and congratulations. You just want for yourself a very nice life smart mug and please the pm us your address we'll be sending it to you uh, as soon as we can thank you again all right congratulations so what we're going to do now is i'm going to show you first how to quickly add a sensor and how to click quickly make a trigger right so uh this is a new a new sensor and what we're going to do is we're going to add it to a life smart system Move this aside. I think you have to go. The camera has to go, go to my back. Right. So again, okay. All right. So we're gonna do go a little slower so you can uh, see it clearly, right? Can you see? Can you see the app now? Yeah. All right. Okay. So what we'll do now is this is the LifeSmart app, right? Again, you can download this on Android and Google. So I'm going to click the LifeSmart app and I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a sensor, right? So I'm going to click here and I'm going to click Add Device. So. When I click Add Device, I can then choose whatever device I want. If this is your first time, you probably need to go to the Smart Station, but this is about the security alarm demonstration. So we're going to go and assume that the station has already been installed, and I'm going to ins install one of the door sensors. All right? So I found it here on the app, and I'm going to click it. And I'm going to add it to our Smart Station, and there's in an instruction there. Slide the battery cover on the back to remove it. Take out the plastic strip. Press the black button until the indicator starts flashing. Number three, pairing mode is now active. So it's going to be very simple and very clear, right? There's even a visual diagram there of how to do it. So all you need to do is to open this and you will see that black strip here and this is the button right so we're going to add this for you right we're going to remove the black strip this would indicate that the battery is now in contact with the terminal so this uh, sensor is now active and now I don't have a pen with me or a pointed device so I'm going to use this right so I'm going to press it for until the indicator light starts flashing okay I'm pressing it already there the indicator light inside is blue as you can see it blinking there so I'm gonna click start pairing there so it's now paired very easy now I'm going to label this as a demo door sensor so and then I'm just gonna put it there on the uh, I'll put it here in the showroom and on the favorite so these are the different tabs that you have on the system so you can assign the door sensor to for easier uh, identification or searching for the device. 
I'm going to put it on the showroom and I'm going to put it also on the sensor tab and it's also on my favorite tab, right? So it should be on the last part. I'm going to click OK. So now, I'm going to go to the sensor tab and you will see that the door sensor is already there. You see it, guys? See? And it's open. The door sensor is open. That's the one right there. Now, I'm going to show you. We're going to close, close the door. There you go. It's now closed. So maybe you can lift it up a bit. I'm going to try to put it here. So you can see that when I open this, it's open. Can you see it? There, it's open. It's closed. It's open. Oh, there's a delay on our internet right now. There you go. Open, close. Open, close. See? So again, I'm going to show you. Open, close. Open, close. There you go. Open, close. So now, all you need to do is stick this on the door and stick this on the jam, and you can have an easy, you know, system that detects the opening and the closing of a door and a window. And you can put it on any window, on any door, or any device. All right? How are we going so far? Any questions, guys? Can you see it happening? No questions yet? Again? Again, it's open, close, open, close, open, close, right? Now, there's a sticker here that's actually a QR code for the home kit because, again, these, these for easy adding, you can add it easily for, you can easily add it to the LiveSmart or the home kit system by scanning the QR code as well. But I just showed you the basic pairing and that would be the easiest, right? So now, you can do the same with the camera, and you can do the same with the motion sensor, and you can do the same with the plug. I'm not going to show you all of that so you won't get bored. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to make a trigger, right? Okay. So we currently have a plug already with an alarm here in our showroom. So I'm going to show you again how easy it is to create a trigger alarm and a trigger message, right? Can you come back here, please? All right, so here is the door, demo door sensor that we've added, right? You can see it. The brightness. How's that? All right, so. I'm going to go to the alarm. All right, let's go to the showroom alarm. Camera scene, alarm and security, okay? So, you know, this is our alarm button. When I click this, see, it makes the alarm go on. So that's actually just a plug. That's this combination. This one plugged here, right? So I'm going to go to this alarm and I'm going to click on a menu here and there's a trigger. And I'm going to add a trigger right now. So I'm going to put a condition here and I'm going to look for the sensor that I want to trigger here, which is what we just added. It's called the demo. There, you'll find it. Demo door window sensor. I'm going to pick the demo, demo door window sensor and I'm going to select open. So now, perform the action which is turn on the plug. And that's it, guys. And now you can see here that that trigger that I made is now active. Okay? So I'll show you how it works. So let's go back to the door sensor 
maybe I will add add it to the security so we'll have a, a quick view of both so I'm going to go here I'm going to add it to the security room as well so you can see everything again everything here is is uh, live so I'm going to add it to the alarm and security room So now when I go to the alarm and security room, so we'll have a good view of the sensor and the alarm together. There. So we now have the demo, the door, demo door sensor here and the alarm, right? Okay. So take note, I'm not pressing anything in the alarm and I already created a trigger for the alarm. Again, going back to the trigger, I already created a demo door sensor trigger for it that will turn on the alarm. Okay. But what we're going to do now is we're also going to add another condition which is that the demo door sensor when the demo demo door sensor is uh, sorry this is not the one when the demo door sensor is closed the alarm will turn off perform the action off right okay and then on the third part I'm going to go to the sensor and I'm going to create the last one another trigger for the sensor that when the sensor is triggered to open I'm going to select the sensor again here and again, don't worry guys, if you buy this from us, we will totally do this for you. Uh, of course, we have an implementation fee, but we, or we can just guide you and you can do it yourself without a fee. It's up to you. So I'm going to get a trigger message here. So when the door sensor opens, I want it to send a message. And then we're going to add the message here. Demo door alarm on okay can you see that can they see a charm right and then i can mm. pick a type of notification setting i can pick an indoor siren just going to unsilent the phone so you can hear it okay so what i've done now is i've, cre I've created a trigger message and an alarm right okay are you guys excited to see what happens after the, the the demo of after that was it i already created a basic alarm system for you right any questions so far so what we've done here is we've added the sensor here and we've now created a simple alarm system right okay so but before i do the demo let's give away another mug Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna give away another mug, and um, how are you guys doing so far? Again, thank you for watching us today, and uh, we're glad that you're eager to learn more about having a smart home system. Again, we're we're just drawing up the winner for the mug, and the winner is. We do have a lot of comments, right? Yeah. All right. Please comment, guys, so you can be included in the raffle. Okay. We have uh, Aji Noipan. The one who made a thumbs up. Thank you very much, Aji. You just won for yourself a mug. Again, please PM us your comments. Uh, I mean, PM us your address so we can send you uh, the... The, the mug as soon as possible all right thank you guys again let's go back to the basic alarm system so just to recap what we have done is we've added this sensor so let me put back the battery cap so we've added this sensor 
we've actually tr triggered the shock sensor there. Okay, so we've added the sensor, we've created a trigger message, and we've created a trigger alarm. So what this is going to do, if this door or window or whatever device you put here opens, it will automatically send a message to the phone and trigger the alarm. Alright, so let me show you. So when this opens, get ready. There you go. And then when it closes, it turns off. It's that simple to create an alarm system. Right? Sorry, the screen turned off. Again, let me show you that again. So how easy was it, guys? Right? Very easy to create your own alarm system. And if you go to the messages here, we do have a lot of messages. There are demo door window sensor. We did the demo twice, so that's two times. We have two messages set saying that the demo door alarm has been triggered. Right? So that's how easy it was to create your own alarm system. So right now, uh, you, you'll only need the station and this door sensor and that alarm. You've already created a very simple alarm system. Again, I'm going to show you the message here. When I open it, there. When I close it, the alarm stops. And then you can see here that... That's the third alarm message. Wow. Amazing, huh? And it's that easy. So you can really just do this. You buy this for every window or every door or everything that you want to secure. The tip that what I want to give you right now is you can even put this on. As long as these two are near each other, you can put it on your bicycle rack. You can put it on your decorate decoration whatever decorative piece i want imagine if this is a decorative piece i can put this here at the back if somebody tries to steal this and it gets separated you automatically get an alarm right and if you can hear that that's a notification on the phone so it's not the notification I've set is really a high pitch notification. So you're going to really look at your phone and not mistake it as a regular SMS. And then when you look at your messages here, you'll see that the door alarm has been triggered, right? So that's nice, right? So now uh, to speed things up, because we don't. Yes. You have a question? Maybe you can go back to me there. Very good question. That's actually our next topic. So uh, we are going to show you that demonstration right now on how the sensor can trigger both. Of course, it can trigger as many things as you want. It can trigger three cameras, three do three alarms, and th that will be my conclusion later on. I'm going to give you some tips on how to configure it as a tech designer. Uh, but very good question. And you know what? Who asked the question? Uh, Angie. Yes. Oh, you already won for yourself a month. But you know what, Angie? Because of your question, and I know that you're really paying attention, we're not going to draw up the umbrella winner. We're going to go ahead and give you this LiveSmart umbrella. Congratulations, Angie. I'm really happy uh, that you are asking uh, you ask that question that means you're paying attention right and uh i'm gonna give you go ahead and give you this life smart umbrella thank you angie Aji, right Aji. thank you Aji. let me quickly drink some water here okay so i showed you how easy it was to pair the door sensor before I move on to the next demo, maybe we're, like, we can draw already the uh, last month. And after that, you will, after I say my conclusion, you'll be, able, you'll be giving away the 
HomeKit uh, Life Smart Station, right? So okay, so we'll be drawing uh, the mug now. Where can you raise the camera? Again, you are watching a live session of a Life Smart demonstration by me. Okay, the winner is Herwin Tan. Thank you, Herwin Tan, for watching us. And you just won for yourself a Life Smart mug. Please uh, don't forget to PM us your address so that we'll be able to send to send it to you as soon as possible. Right? Okay. So now I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna show you a demo. Okay. Okay. So we do have a camera here. This is one of our cameras. And then we do have a camera there, and we do have a camera there. All three Life Smart cameras, right? We're going to show you what that door sensor does again. Again, this door sensor is going to do multiple things, right? For one, as a reminder, or just if you can recall, last week, if I turn on this door sensor or open this door, the lights will turn on. Did we already trigger the alarm to turn on? Yeah. Okay, we just got an alarm trigger. And it can also trigger an alarm, which anyway, I'll show you in a bit. So what happened is, that door sensor turned on the light. And it, which which camera is it? Did you ask it to take a picture? Show? Showroom, sir. Okay, showroom. There. Okay. And that's me. Opening the door. Can you see it? So let's do it again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to clear all the other... Uh, I think the alarm was really triggered. You have a one, one trigger there open. Anyway, let's do it again. Okay. Hold this. Can you hold this? And I'm going to open the door. Okay. So when I open the door, again, alright, so we got an instant message on the LifeSmart app, and then when I look at it, there I am, with timestamp and with my face. So it's actually this camera here that took the picture. This camera took the picture when the door opened, right? So you can see it. Cool, right? So this door sensor, the same one that turned on the light, also told the camera to take a snapshot, right? Now you know that the critical part is the placement of your cameras. I will mention more of that when we are about to end. I'm going to show you one more demonstration. So, this is our alarm button right here. Now, the alarm is turned on. Okay? Again, I'm going to clear this. So, you will see. Alright. So, when we open the door again, can you hold it? I'm going to look at the camera again and there's a third thing that will happen. With this same door sensor, oh, sorry. So you can point at the alarm. Okay? So you can see that the alarm triggered. So that one single door sensor actually did three things. It can turn on this light. It can tell the camera to take a snapshot of me again. It can also trigger the alarm over there. And it also sent me a message. Alarm, showroom, entrance door open. There's a time. Okay. 
take note that on even on the picture there is a timestamp so if you can't if you happen to not be able to see your phone right away when you look at it here there is a timestamp now imagine that as a manager and imagine the advantages you get to have an odd thing system like this to know every person who's entered that door what time that person has came in without even the need to trace back on a DVR system right I don't really recommend that you put our system cameras everywhere you can still use your regular DVR system so that you'll be able to see the people working and uh, put them in the perimeter area so your security guard can see if anybody's climbing your wall but for the inside of your house you can use the live smart cameras or inside your office and have simple systems like this because then you'll know the things that you need to know right away in an instant you understand that guys how cool is that right we have a message from our <coughs> yeah uh, oh we have a message in our inbox I'm interested in the plug, however, going to the specifications, I'm concerned about the working temperature, 40 degrees, especially here in the Philippines, and I'm going to just close to my working humidity. Don't worry about the, the temperature. The plug itself can handle up to 2,500 watts of load, uh, and the working temperature means that the temperature of the plug, plug itself and not the ambient temperature. So if the plug can only max out at 40 degrees, the plug can heat up up to 40 degrees and it's not the ambient temperature. What that means is you're, it's probably maxing out the load. So it's important that when you get the plug, you have to match it with the load. Again, this plug can do up to 2,500 watts. If that's an air conditioning system, that's about 2 horsepower. You cannot go over 2 horsepower. If you want to go over 2 horsepower, you want to control it, we have many other products which we can tell you about uh, on the next few sessions when we do our switches and our special control systems, uh, which you can use another product and not use the plug if it is above 2,500 watts. Again, the temperature, the 40 degrees temperature is not the ambient temperature but the, te the device temperature. Okay. All right. Again, so we've given away all the mugs, right? And the umbrella. So we're going to conclude. Okay. So I hope you learned a lot of things from us today. And I just want to summarize. Again, the advantage of life. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One very critical important thing I want to demonstrate to you okay before I go to my conclusion uh, okay. so this here is our life smart station right this is the brain and it's connected via LAN to our network to allow me to control everything on the phone and to show you that to show you that Let me go on a light switch again here. To show you that, here, I can turn on the lights on and off, right? But what I'm going to show you right now is very critical. I'm going to unplug the station. So that would simulate that your network is down, right? When your network is down, you can no longer control the system by a phone. See? You can no longer control your system by a phone. Right? So that means uh, you've lost a tool to manage the system. But we want you to know that the critical aspects of the system will still work. Right? The alarm system will still work. Uh, let me show you something. This door sensor. Okay, can, you, can, can they see it? Can they see both? Uh, this door sensor 
right here can still turn on the light. See, the light still turned on. Right? Again, the network is down, the phone cannot be controlled. And most importantly, the alarm system will still work. So when I separate this, there you go. When I put it back, it'll turn off. Again. Turn off. Right? So, okay, so. So, that is the critical part of the Life Smart system. It allows you to have a fail-safe alarm system. No other brand can do it. Only Life Smart can do it because, it, again, if you saw my session last week, it uses its own communications protocol that's not reliant on your existing network or your Wi-Fi, right? So even if your Wi-Fi or the internet goes down, your automation still works. And that is the critical part of this, right? You may lose your phone control, but you'll be able to arm, disarm alarm systems via manual switches over there or switches like this or clickers, which we'll tackle later on. Because I don't want this to be another very long session like we had last week. Sorry about the two-hour session. Maybe you can come back here. Sure. So, any, see, okay. When the internet came back on, LifeSmart then sent all the critical notifications, meaning the station stored all the alarms. And as soon as the Wi-Fi went back on, or the alarm system went back, or the Wi-Fi and the internet went back on, everything, all the messages were also sent. So Life Smart showroom entrance was open. Here you go, right? So you still get your notifications when your system goes back online. But the important thing is locally, the alarm still triggered, right? You still catch the criminal. Right? Of course, the IP cameras, uh, if the Wi-Fi is down, they are wireless cameras. So you also lose the cameras taking the snapshot. We won't promise anything that we can't do. But we're just showing you that when the internet goes down, although you lose phone control and you lose the cameras taking the picture, the alarm system still triggered. Right? So you still have protection. Okay? And the nice thing about the Life Smart System number one, do you have any question? So far? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna conclude before we raffle out uh, uh, the smart station here. We do have a special uh, security system, which is about the uh, mo so security monitoring system. It's 27,500, which includes a smart station, one door sensor, one motion sensor, the plug and the siren, and one uh, camera. The outdoor camera is the one that's placed here. So you can choose between this one or the outdoor camera. It's up to you. And that's 27,500 pesos only. Uh, we'll do free shipping for you. Uh, we will refer you to the nearest partner who will ship to you uh, the, the items, right? So we have different partners all over. We will refer you to the nearest partner who will ship to you or able to ship to you. Where can you message me the partner list? Okay. So again, that's 20, 27,500 pesos only for a smart station, a camera, uh, this door sensor, a motion sensor, and the uh, alarm. Okay. So here are the tips that I want to mention before you raffle it out. Okay. Uh, yeah. I want to fix something. Maybe, can we elevate this? Because uh, 
I don't like the camera being very low. It makes me <laughs> look very, very awkward on the screen. So let's do a high level camera. Ah, there you go. Again. There. All right. Sorry about that. Just fixing the camera. Again. So some tips. Okay. Number one, the advantage of Life Smart is uh, we can work without internet, right? So that's one. Second, there are four ways to trigger an alarm with Life Smart. Number one, you can either arm, disarm the alarm by a mobile phone, right? So it is your choice when you want to arm it. Today, I leave it. Like, you know, when you leave your car, you press the alarm to arm it. So I can press my mobile phone and arm the alarm wherever I am around the world. Right? That's one. Second, we can auto-arm it by a schedule. So, every night at 12 o'clock or at 11 o'clock or whatever time, the alarm will arm. Okay? So, number one, uh, first, there is... You arm the alarm by a smartphone. Second is you auto alarm by a schedule. Third is you let the sensor trigger the alarm. Meaning, when there is no more human presence in this area, the alarm will automatically arm. Okay? The alarm will automatically start when there is no more people inside an area. Right? So that's the third way to arm the alarm system. Again, the first one is to arm it by a uh, smartphone. The second one is to arm it by a schedule. The third one is to arm it by a sensor. When there's nobody here, the alarm will start. The fourth one is to create a physical alarm, right? We can do that through our light switches or our portable battery-operated switches. So you have a physical switch, you will have a auto-arming alarm system, you can have a scheduled alarm system turning on and off, or you can have a mobile phone by app arming. Please take note of those four things, right? Uh, because uh, those are critical ways that you can arm your alarm system. Right? Another tip that I have for you, Place your cameras properly. Put them in an area where you can see the face of whoever is entering the room. Because if you put it high up there and you won't be able to see the face, the picture, or the video, or any picture in the video will be useless, you won't be able to see the person's face, right? So always have a camera that is placed on eye level. You can have two cameras, one above, one below eye level. That's another tip. Um, and the nice advantage about LifeSmart is because everything is customized, you can actually have different triggers for different areas at different times, right? So meaning, if th we have three doors here, okay? If I want to arm this door and that door, I can simply arm this door and that door and let go of the alarm of this other door. So meaning, I'll have the free hand to arm which ones I want to arm while I'm there. That means if you want to open this window at my back, then you can still open it without triggering the alarm system from the inside. You can easily put release buttons within the house, secret release buttons, that when you press them, they will temporarily open that uh, or free up the alarm of that particular window and arm itself automatically after 20 minutes. If there are smokers out there, they'll be happy. You just click a button, they can open it, and after 20 minutes, even if you forget, it's going to automatically set the alarm. Again, the possibilities are endless with LifeSmart. You decide what you want, and it can do it for you. Alarm system that's very basic, and imagine 27,000 only, right? I For big houses, oh, the last tip. For big houses, I do recommend multiple alarm systems. One you can put in the actual area, one you can put in your master's bedroom, 
right? Or if it's a mall or a, a, a building, one you can put on the actual floor or the area, one can be in the engineering room or head security room. So whichever alarm triggers, it's also going to trigger there locally. And if you look at our Facebook page, uh, there's actually a lighting alarm system that we've, we've, uh, we've made a video of. I made a video of which you can use any of the light smart light systems to give you silent alarms too. Meaning, when this sensor triggers, right? There you go. When this sensor triggers that alarm, it can also trigger our light to turn red, to turn blue. So meaning that for my last tip, with the light smart lighting system, you can label if that light turns blue, it means it's the main entrance. If that light turns red, it's the back entrance. If that light turns green, it's the back window. And I think you already know what I mean, right? So again, LightSmart gives you a very customizable alarm system and the alarm system is just one of the many things you can do with LightSmart. From control, automation of lights, and automation of energy, automation of products that consume a lot of energy, and security, the possibilities are endless. The future is here with LightSmart. Take full control of your life free up your time, free up your expenses, free up your operational costs. Uh, and you know, the best things, they say that sometimes you can, the best things are better done by yourself. And you can do that with LifeSmart because you can make all your configurations by yourself. And if you're not that much of a techie, we are here. We have our partners to be able to assist you to uh, implement the life smart system. What are you saying? Thank you. All right. So again, I'd like to mention our partners. We have uh, in Luzon. We have Brain Tech, who's our sub distributor. Then we have Tech Brokers. We also have AVDI located at Edsa Shangri-La Mall uh, in in Manila. Right. Uh, in the Visayas, we have New Dachi or Dachi. We have PRG, we have Curtains Unlimited for the curtains, so we'll have another episode for that. We have Ingenious Innovations in Davao, and we also have yeah, PRG Photoshop, they have a shop in uh, Rain Tree Mall. Right, okay. So in Mindanao, uh, in Ingenious Innovations is Negros Occidental, they're also our sub distributor there. We also have in Mindanao, we have Opti Living, right? And we have many collaborative partners, Osfield Glass and Aluminum. We, we, we've been working with them to create special solutions for windows, uh, best blinds for their curtains, Compass Education for their uh, for the education aspect of Bicemart. We also automated their their uh, school. We have Atois in Manila. Atois Customs is a very special partner. I think you've seen their video on Alodia Gosing Fiao's smart van, which has gone viral on YouTube. That was one of our projects together with Atoy. Uh, hello, Atoy. Uh, he's a very great guy, a very good guy. Uh, God bless you, Atoy. Uh, and we have many uh, partners. We have uh, a lot of uh, interior designers and architectural studios that are partners with us. And there are actually too many to mention, but we'll post them on our page. With Again, the advantage with LifeSmart, we find upgrades, that's why I'm wearing the find upgrades uniform now, is we are the distributor of LifeSmart in the Philippines. And if you want to be our partner, if you want to implement LifeSmart, we're looking for tech geeks like you, right? We have many partner programs uh, that you may be interested in, or you can just simply go ahead and buy this for your home use or your office use. Again, this kit right here in front of me is only 20500 we're offering a free shipping anywhere in the Philippines. And take note, guys, uh, the 27500 that you're buying right now already includes a live smart station that can handle 500 of the mobile devices. What does that mean? When you buy this, we call it a starter kit. If you want to start off with security alarm and you buy this, 
when you expand to the rest of the Lysmark products, you don't need to buy another station anymore unless your house is bigger. And we can do repeaters. We can, they can also act as repeaters and extend to a bigger place uh, for, to, for bigger coverage. But remember, if you're, you just need one of these. So when you buy the security package, you can easily expand to the rest of the Lysmark products. The IR controller to turn on the aircon, on and off, schedule the aircons, the light switches, the smoke alarm, the water sensor, and so on and so forth. All of that can be added here. That's why we call this security package is starter kits. And we have many starter kits here. We have smart living starter kit, security, safety measures, appliance control, lighting, energy, and colorful, the colorful product or make your life colorful with life smart, right? Okay, so thank you for watching guys. It's time to draw our lucky uh, winner for the grand prize for today, which is a smart station that will enable you to add 500 of the life smart devices already and get you started on your journey to a smarter future for your home. So let's do it. Let's draw up the winner for the smart home station. It's HomeKit ready. What it means by HomeKit ready is it's compatible with Apple HomeKit. It's also compatible with Alexa and Google. Do remember that. And um, you can do voice commands with any of our products, such as Echo, Open Sesame, and my curtain at the back will open. Right. That's just one of the many things that you can do with a voice command system. And the winner is Anjoli Dador. Yay! I wish we had some background clapping. Hello, Anjoli, thank you for watching and tuning in. And congratulations, your journey to a new uh, beginning of smart, uh, Smarter Home has just begun today with your first uh, smart station. With this, you can just buy any of our products and you can start your smart home, smart office, or smart space. Okay. She's from Bulacan. Thank you, Anjoli Dador from Bulacan. We have uh, people from Davao and Luzon. Oh, people from Davao, from Luzon. Guys, thank you very much. We really appreciate you uh, checking this episode out and we hope you like it I'm very open to suggestions so if you want uh, us to cover any topic to answer any question this is your chance please post them on the chat room right now uh, or the FB page we also have a YouTube channel Life Smart Philippines Official we also have an Instagram and we also have a TikTok account which is just about to start. And um, we're also on Twitter, right? We'll be posting all of that on our page. Is, is the brightness getting in the way? Am I getting dark? No. Oh. Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. Echo, mm. close sesame. So all the contact details of LifeSmart will be posted on the page, and our partners will also be there. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Next week, I think I would like to cover some special COVID solutions. That might interest a lot of people. So tune in next week for a very special uh, topic about COVID and how Life Smart can help your place become cleaner. I think we already posted a video about UV lights. You can check that out. And we'll be exploring more about post-COVID solutions with LifeSmart next week. Same time, same place, and with giveaways as well. So, any more questions? Are we good? No questions? Take your time to please share this and tell your friends about it. The more we are, the merrier. Maybe we can set a goal of uh we want to give out a whole smart home system but that's when we can really you know, garner up at least a hundred or more 
people watching. So help us reach 100 or more, invite your friends, and we might just give out a full smart home basic system on this, uh, on our pocket smart home sessions, right? Okay. So again, guys, I'm Ryan. I'm a tech designer. I can help you design your smart home with the rest of our team. Uh, I'm also the president and CEO of uh, Fine Trades, and we distribute Life Smart Moves together with the rest of our products. Uh, thank you for watching, and we do appreciate you taking your time. Stay home, stay safe. Let's all flatten the curve together, and let's uh, prepare ourselves for the future. We need to do something for a better future, and it starts with us doing something. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care.